Hey Stampistas! Hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Today I am going to be reviewing the Color Club Heat Index Collection. Um, I'm excited to do it. They have some very beautiful colors. Hopefully they will not disappoint. Um, like I said in my haul video with these in it, it's kind of mixed reviews 50-50. Half of people are saying that they can't get the thermals to work on some of them, and half of them are saying they that they can. So we're going to test those out today and see how they do. Hopefully they will all work. So first let's start off by going through all of them and giving you the names of them again. And then at the end of it, I will swatch them and see how they do. Alright, so the first one is called Raise the Bar. And it is like a neon orange. Very pretty. The next one is called Diva Fan. It is like a dusty grayish blue. This one is called what's up sun and it is like an um i would say like a orangish yellow this one is it's a sauna out there and it's a neon pink very simple belly flop and that's a neon purple i'm not a temp which is like a mint green is what I would call it. And sun-kissed miss and it's like a light pink. So that's all of them. We are going to swatch these and also we will test these out to see how they do with the color change. So let's get to it. Here is the first coat of Raise the Sun. Okay, there's the first coat of that. And you can see a little of the color change in this as well from the get-go. Okay. Here is the second coat of Raise the Bar. I feel like on this one you need maybe three to not see your nail line but you can get by with two all right so here is raise the bar dipped in water cold water by the way as you can see there's frost on my glass because i put it in the freezer well All right, that's cold. Maybe I should have only dipped half of it. But it's supposed to be like a pink when warm. and an orange when cold. So, 
that's more of a red <sighs> honestly my honest opinion I don't see too much of a difference with this I mean, there's a subtle change, but it's not like major noticeable. Oh, well. Here is the first coat of Diva Fan. Okay, messed it up a little bit. My painting is off tonight for some reason, but that's the first coat. Here is the second coat of Diva Fan. So far, I'm not seeing any... Um, thermal in this one but like I said before it may be that we'll be able to see it when we get it in the cold water so yeah second coat of diva fan and it kind of looks white on camera like a grayish white but it's it's a grayish blue here is diva fan in cold water Oh yeah. Now I love that dark blue. That is so pretty. Okay, let's move on to the next one. All right, here is the first coat of What's Up Sun. Goes on pretty smooth. Okay, there is the first coat of What's Up Sun with a little piece of dog hair. Here is the second coat of What's Up Sun. It reminds me of a pineapple. Okay. Now you're starting to be able to see the thermal change in this one. Let's see. Not so much in that one yet. All right. Here is What's Up Sun dipped in cold water ah uh, you can definitely see that one that is so cool I mean it would have been cool if they like picked different colors for it to change kind of like the purple but it is what it is here is the first coat of it's a sauna out there So far, these are very impressive um, as far as how they apply. 
All right, so there's the first coat of It's a Sauna out there. Here is the second coat of It's a Sauna out there. Okay, and once again, I think you can get away with two coats with this. But so far, I do not see the thermal, but that nail may not be long enough. So when I dip it in cold water, maybe it'll do better. Here is It's a Sauna dipped in cold water. Not... Mm, just like the um, raise the bar one, there's a subtle change, but not like a big, big change. So these do change, but it's only like some of them are only like a hint of change. So, yeah. Here is the first coat of belly flop. I messed that up a little bit. Oh wow. You can already see the color change in this. I mean look at that. That was like instant. That's awesome. Now the others, so far not so much. But, we'll see. Here is the second coat of belly flop. I wish they would have made the purple, the pink in this one. Only two coats are needed for this one. And it's definitely one that you can see the thermal in very strongly from the get-go. Here is belly flop in cold water. Which I feel like this one's going to be awesome. Just like I thought. That is so cool. I mean, I wished all of them were that dramatic of a change, but... What you gonna do? It's still pretty. I love belly flop. Here is the first coat of I'm not a temp. And these do dry matte. So far, they've all dry, dried matte, so you will need a top coat for them if you want them to be glossy. All right, that is the first coat of I'm Not a Temp. Here is the second coat of I'm Not a Temp. That one didn't spread as good as I thought it was going to, but you can kind of see the thermal in that on just the tip. So hopefully that means that once it goes into the cold water, you'll be able to see it better because I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see it. Here is I'm not a temp in cold water. Okay, definitely a change. I 
I like the green. Very pretty. Here is the first coat of Sunkiss Miss. Telling you, I don't know what's wrong with me tonight, but my painting is off. Oh well. Or at least I think it's me that's doing it. This one was a little bit streaky on the first application, but hopefully that will disappear with our second application. Here is the second coat of Sun Kiss Miss. All right, there is the second coat of Sun Kiss Miss. So I'm gonna let these dry and then I will be back with the cold water. Here is Sunkissed Mist in cold water. So there's definitely a change on that one too. Very pretty. Okay. Okay, so my final thoughts on the um, Heat Index Collection. This is the thing. Like now I understand why people probably didn't think there was a change. The majority of these, except for one, they all go from a lighter shade of themselves to a darker shade. So you really have to be paying attention to see that change. Um, like on this one and this one, it's very subtle like you you really have to be paying attention to notice the change in these two and Like on this one it goes from purple to lit like from a pink to a purple So literally it changes the color co completely um, It's still in the um, The the color scheme of purple and pink or whatever however you say that but it's changing colors completely the rest of this one like this one right here goes from a light blue like a gray blue to a dark blue and so on and so forth so you really have to be paying attention they work but some of them are more prominent than the others do I like these yes I love the colors um would I recommend them yes um certain ones more than others. If I was going to only pick three out of this whole collection to buy, three or four, I would pick the purple, the blue, the green, and the light pink, me personally. These three right here, I could probably live without only because you have to really, really pay attention to notice the change in them. Um, they go on smoothly. The formula is great, just like Color Cup Club tradition. Some of them are streaky on the first coat or so, but after you apply the second coat, it does better. They do dry matte. I did add a top coat before I started the cold water process, um, just to kind of give it that glossy finish to see how it does and see how it looked. Um, beautiful colors they I, I love them but i'm a color club fanatic i love color club so what you gonna do <laughs> okay so if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't and leave me some love down in the comment section if there's something that you want me to review um that's nail or stamping related on aliexpress or any other um, just let me know and I will try my best to get it. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and has fun stamping. See y'all later.